Yeah, I talk about whales and minnows. And really what that is, is a, a way to explain uh, the 80-20 rule as it applies to a business. And any, any retailer, any online business typically has good customers and bad customers. So you've got, at least in retail, you've got good customers who, who buy a lot and buy frequently and buy large amounts and they don't return product. And then you got a bad customer who uh, takes up a lot of customer support time and will buy in return or only buys once and never again. And if you look at the data, it's really not uncommon to find that 80% of the revenue and 80% of the profits are driven by 20% of your customers. So that's where I started calling them whales and minnows, that the, the whales are your whale customers, the one who really are driving the business. The minnows are everybody else. And your job as a marketer, um, a data-driven marketer, should be first to identify that whale segment and then to grow it. And um, I know, Liam, you and I talked about showing some data on the screen, and I'm happy to go in and just sort of illustrate the concept if, uh, if you want me to do that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's jump into the screen share here and try the, I guess, the Trans-Pacific screen share, right? <clears throat> so, can you see my screen? Yeah, we've got you. Yeah, this is from a, uh, a talk I gave at E-Commerce Fuel Live, which was an uh, e-commerce conference here in the States. And, um, you know, I stripped out the name of the retailer in question, but this was about a month of activity. And what I really wanted to to see here was, you know, do they have their own whale segment? So I went into Google Analytics and I defined a whale segment in this case as um, any, any customer who has purchased more than, than once. So two, three, four times. Um, you look back over this time period in question and you see that the whales really just make up a little over 1% of the total sessions on the site. And you scroll over to the right you see that that 1% of the sessions on the site drove 42, 43% of the revenue. So really this isn't, I mean, this is from an e-commerce company, but it's not uncommon if you run a content business that, you know, five, 10% of your readers drive something like 80% of your page views or your time on site. Um, if, you know, I, I just encourage you to go into Google Analytics and, and play around with segments like this and you can really see this in effect, um, can you see this other slide with the whale and the minnow? Great. So this is another retailer. Similar example. Um, you know, they, they did that analysis from, from Google Analytics, and they've actually gone back and stripped out the, the two groups here. You see the whale um, has a first purchase AOV of 13000 US dollars, total spend of $26,000, and they're, you know, six transactions per year they're buying across all these different merchandising categories and the minnow spends $37 on, on one swimsuit 